I would say that for now, with the, with the help of social media and opportunities everywhere, whatever it is that you like, just follow your passion and the money will follow you. I can guarantee you that. That is one thing that I believe from now on, um, from, now, from before until now, I mean. Um, what else? Any questions, anyone? No, no questions? <laughs> And I would say one thing, uh, when I was in Sydney as a student, the thing that I learned from there until now is that, okay, it's okay to reach for your future and for your career, but the most important thing um, is relationships. I must say it's relationships is the most important thing. I'm not talking about boyfriend, romantic relationship, but I'm talking about people around you. So it is a very crucial time for you to choose the friends that will support you and give you positive environment, support system for you to, in order for you to help each other to reach a good future. And, and thank God, after eight years, I found my really good friends after six years. The first six years it was such a struggle for me because I had to move there by myself. And I would say that it was one of the most was one of the most beautiful time of my life when I was in Sydney as a student. Trust me, everybody wants to work here. Everybody really wants to work, but being a student was the best time of everybody's life. Uh, but everything else is that I'm saying that I'm very grateful for everything that I have right now and I would say that uh, Whatever it is that's been planned by God for me is that uh, it's already planned the way that's supposed to be right now What's the, the the worst part is that at that time I was thinking I was applying for permanent residency in Sydney You know to live there because I love Sydney so much at that time and Probably it's the plan of God so that my lawyer actually put the application late by one month. And I applied as a chef in Sydney. And, and actually, I, 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 I would have gotten it at that time. But then, because they, he put it late, so I had to go home to Indonesia. And I was so bummed at that time. I was like, oh my God, I want to live in Sydney. It's so beautiful, this and that. But see it, see it back. Like, 11 years from now, 11 years from then, it's beautiful that I am here right now and I really hope that I can inspire people and that's what I guess I want as well. And one thing that I know that I just learned recently is, I'm so glad that everybody is so attentive, <laughs> um, is to know your purpose. That's what I learned recently Back then, everything is so random for me. Everything is so random. It's just like, go with the flow, this and that. For me, what I learned is to design your life. Design your life. If you have the time, the opportunity, design your life the way you want it to be. And I'm trying to design my life the way I want it to be. Someday, I would want to have a husband. I would want to have a child. Not a child, two children. One, one boy, one, one woman, you know, one girl. And then um, I don't want. I didn't want to work in a hotel where I where I have to work 3 a.m. until 8 8 a.m. or whatever. You know, I want to have to you know have my own business. So that's why I have my own restaurants right now. So that if I have a husband someday, if I have a husband someday, he can work whatever he wants, and I have my own business. And being an independent woman makes me also happy and confident. But everything that I do. I hear someone talking. Yes. Yes. Oh no. And by the way, you guys are doing really great. Can you give them a round of applause? Are you guys the ones who want to be actors? Yes. Yes. Or presenters? Who wants to be a presenter here? Oh, don't be ashamed. It's okay. Oh, that one over there, the, the, uh, the, the guy with the silver hair. <laughs> um, actually, that guy with the silver hair is a friend of mine. 
he can be an inspiration as well because he just came from America actually to come here. He's still Indonesian. He came here. He came here to pursue his career, to pursue his career, to inspire people, and to be a good presenter someday. Round of for so I guess I would say that whatever it is that you do, just follow your passion, but you have to know that you will not change that path. Take your time on finding what you really like, but once you once you choose, stick with it until you succeed because you will. You will succeed if you if you if you don't quit. If you can keep on doing it with love, with your heart, with your brain as well. And of course, I would say that in order to live everything beautifully, the aim is to be the best of yourself. Right? Right, guys? Right? Okay, I guess that's it. Thank you so much, everyone.